Welcome back. Um, I would love to give you a great progress report of things I've been doing since the last uh, episode. However, all I've actually done is taken the Britannia out for a run and it ran perfectly. I was so pleased with it. I did almost two hours of passenger hauling with it. Just a single trolley, but I believe she's got the power for more. It's just the weight distribution and springing that's holding me back. Um, it's made with leaf springs, so in order to change any of that, it needs some of the leaves being replaced from tufnel to spring steel. So that's a job for another day. Um, but my blower, when I put it on, it just dragged the fire off. So what I've done, the adapter piece, which my blower goes into, I've drilled a hole right through the side and I've done the same in the blower. So you can line them up uh, to reduce the draw of the blower. And then when you want a bit more, when she's fires lit and it's going well, you can play around with it like that. So I've done that. Now, back onto Pom Pom. And in the last episode, I asked about the painting of the back head. And it was a fairly uh, resounding vote for paint. So that's what we're going to do today. So here we are. Let's get to looking at some paint. I have taken off the gauge glass blowdown pipes. Uh, this pipe is a little bit awkward to undo the union up here. I will give it a little go. If it doesn't come off easily, then she will stay. And then it's just going to be a case of take the foot plate off, which will eventually be wooden. Um, and yeah, we'll take a look through this and just paint it with a with a brush. I will leave the number unpainted, that little area, so it's easy to see. I think the number's at the bottom as well. I'll leave both areas unpainted and we'll give it a coat of paint. The paint I've used, I'm using is Hammerite Satin Black. It can put up with the temperature of the back and it's going to be a nice, solid, strong paint that's nice and durable. So, with no further ado, we'll, we'll get going. So there we go. So while that dries, I'll get on with some other stuff. I've got some polish, and there you can see I've polished up one pipe, the other one, there, and in the tub over there somewhere uh, in there, there's the injector pipes. So they'll get done next as well. And there we go. Everything is polished up pipe wise. However, the valves, I've been in two minds about because, yes, I could polish them up. Possibly the clacks will be better polished because when they get problems and you start tapping them with a shovel, you'll knock the paint off. But looking at these pictures of Butler Henderson, these ones here, oh, this one, plus this picture of the original one of these although it's photographic grey and all that it does look like the valves are painted so what are we to do i think they're a bit awkward to get in and paint uh, get in and clean when the thing's in service so we are going to brush paint the valves so here goes although the Butler Henderson, it looks like the valves are painted in the same colour as the bodywork of the engine. So, we're going to go gloss black to match the body of the engine on this. And being gloss, it will hopefully look a little bit different to the satin of the, the boiler. 
And there we go. Doesn't that look smart? So what's left? Um, obviously the cab and tender lining need to be finished. And then we start going through this box of bits. Let's take a look. So, need to finish sorting out the water valves. We'll start having a look at them. Two water valves. Water valve handle, water valve handle. Handrails. Boot rod. Pipe. So I need to work out where that goes. Handrail stanchions go on the between the cab and the footplate as and when that goes on. Extension for the reverser so you can use it easier. They're not needed anymore. Safety valves to polish up and their washers to uh, maybe I'll uh, anneal the washers just so they seal better. That's a part of the reverser. And put the hook back on. So yeah, my biggest mystery is working out where that pipe went. So, we'll take a bit of a look. I almost forgot the wood that goes on there. I'm going to remake that, partly because that's got stained, partly because the one from the other side was missing. So, to try and match that would be difficult. So I've got some fresh wood, which I'll stain darker once I've cut it to size. So that can go on. I also want to think about painting the inside of the cab a cream color, but probably only from there up because that's what it looks like in Butler Henderson. I've already drilled to fit the number plates. The builder's plates just want to be glued on the splasher and the reverser needs to be fitted. The not reverser, the handbrake needs to be fitted along with the cupboard doors. So the list is getting shorter. Um, I've just got a bit of a puzzle as to what the other pipe is, but I will keep looking and I will let you know when I find it. So the handrail, I've given a quick polish with Autosol. However, where I've painted the engine with the uh, knobs in place, there's paint inside them. So what I'm going to do is use the correct size drill bit, just sort of push it through, wind it through as it goes, and then, very difficult with one hand, but just keep wiggling it until it passes through and you've got rid of all the paint from inside. Don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it is clear. So I'll do them to the all the others and then push the handrail through. And there we go. You'll see I haven't pushed them all the way in yet. That's because they need to locate into the front holes of the cab. So that will get done when the cab is on. But at least it shows a bit more progress. Oh, and I've polished up and fitted the hook and given the buffers a polish as well. So the builder's plate. I've given it a bit of a clean up and a polish up. See it's nice and shiny now. And just to glue it on. I'm only gluing it at this time. If that's not enough, then I'll have to look at drilling and tapping and putting some very small screws in. And there we go. Looking more and more complete every day. Now, if you look at this photo here, it's quite obvious, the uh, whistle on top of the cab. Now, I was talking to Rory about this, and I'm thinking about putting one on, but 
I'm worried it's too vulnerable up on top of the cab roof. So, what I'm thinking of doing is having it so it can screw on and off into something fairly substantial, not just a nut on the inside of the cab. Having said that, I've offered up the cab. It's not sitting quite on properly at the moment, but it is quite easy to get to the inside of the cab there. So, I don't really see a problem in making a dummy whistle. Could have a reasonably reasonable sized thread and a nut on the inside so that it could be put on and off quite easily by hand whenever you want. So that's what I'm going to do. The other thing I have been thinking about was to take that turret off, drill and tap the top of it, put a decent sized thread on it, screw in a blank which sat up near the top of the cab, then drill the hole in the roof, go through and screws in, then the dummy whistle would screw into that. However, because it's so accessible, that cab, I'll be able to get a hand in and put a nut on quite easily. So we're going to go with uh, just uh, put a bit of thread on the bottom of it and a, a nut on the bottom. So I've given the reach rod a bit of a polish up. So that's ready. All we've got left is this. I've polished the handle for that. I'm going to wait to fit that until the engine's finished so I can get some photos of it without that before I fit it. Um, so I've just got the water valves and this pipe, which I really cannot picture what it is. Um, yeah. It seems familiar to me, but I can't think where from. I've got a feeling it's not from this engine. It's just ended up in this box, but I'm not certain. One possibility for it, but I'm pretty sure it's not right, is that it's a pipe. Can't see there's enough volume in there to put some tobacco, so pretty sure it's not that. So, I think that's where I'll leave it for today. Um, so next time I see you, or you see me, we'll be looking at the water valves, we'll be looking at the dummy whistle, and hopefully we'll be looking at some lining. Um, it's definitely getting close, and just looking at it now, I'm getting excited by the look of it. Just cannot wait to get it finished and out on the track. It is going to look awesome. So, thanks for watching, as always. Please do like, subscribe, tell me what you think, tell me how you think I'm doing, tell me what you think you'd have done differently. Um, I don't mind if you want to criticise, I'm quite happy to take advice on board. May not happen this time, but it is something I will take into consideration on the next time I do things. So, yes, thank you very much. Nice to, always nice to see all the comments and the feedback, and I look forward to... Seeing you next time with some more progress from this. Goodbye.